So this is part one of my original design CSV2 plover tank build. Um, some people may have already watched my, um, my sort of walk around of it when I originally showed it off. And I think that video did, um, did pretty well for itself. So I don't have actually a whole lot to say as far as the voiceover goes on this tutorial, but I did want to mention a couple things, um, in regard to this. Uh, I, I didn't really plan to make a tutorial on it. I kind of was just going to show it off and be like, that was fun and not come back to it. But I, this is a tank that I had a lot of fun building and I thought people would probably still enjoy to see kind of how I made it. So here I am doing this. Um, it's going to be pretty much the same as my other um, tutorials. It's mostly going to be visual. Um, I don't think I'm going to even do a voice recording for this whole, this whole thing um, because I think I've said kind of all that I need to say in the um, sort of the walk around video. Um, and if people don't know what I'm talking about, I would encourage them to go check that out. I made a, a video on this tank already um, and sort of the idea that I got for it and, and, and kind of what it was like to make the camouflage and stuff, which was fun. Um, but I don't think I need to say any more of what kind of has already been said. Um, in regards to the pieces I used for this project, it actually, um, they were pieces that are a little more complex and complex is kind of a subjective idea, but complex based off of the pieces that I have. And I didn't really build it with um, a tutorial in mind, like for if viewers wanted to build it. So it might be a kind of weird if anyone who's watching this has any interest in trying to put this specific tank together or at least anything like it. So that's just um, my complexity warning to you in case that there are pieces that you don't have. So I don't know. I don't have tremendously complex pieces. So usually even something like my saint Germain tank was still um, some pretty pretty basic pieces. It wasn't that complex, um, but this one, I, I kind of went crazy with some fun parts. So um, that's all I really had to say for this this voiceover. Um, I might chime in on some other other little parts um, if I have any notes that need to be made, but for the most part, this is it. And um, I'm pretty sure that the Legos speak for themselves. <laughs> 